What is up, guys? I got some Team Fortress 2 gameplay in the background because uh, I was playing with one of my friends, and uh, I'm not even sure if it's in the right order. It could be in the complete wrong order, but who cares? I'm going to talk about some stuff. And the first thing I want to talk about was something that happened a long time ago. Me and uh, my friend Ryan, who's been on this channel before, he uh, we were we were hanging out. This is a couple years ago. Um, <coughs> He used to live in my neighborhood, so we, we hung out a lot. And then we were hanging out one time, and we went. There's this big open field behind these, like, woods behind our hou my house. Well, it's not my house. I, I don't know how to explain it. But we're back there, and then there's a big patch of woods. So we went to it, and there's, like, like a flooded part of a lake. And uh, it's just like, well, it's not a lake, but it kind of was because rains made flood. You know how that works. Well, there was, like, a piece of glass up on this, like, tree. So, like, we, Ryan just went over and shoved it over because he didn't know what it, like, you know what I mean? We were just, like, so he shoved it over and we were walking around. There's a big, huge tree that was knocked down. And we go under it and look to the right. And there's a cabinet, bed, a bed, and, like, a rope swing. And we were just like, whoa, whoa, what is this? And, like, we looked in the cabinet. There was, like, magazines and stuff. And there was, like, a bunch of uh, gardening equipment. And it was just really weird. So we're like, uh, you know, we're going to get out of here. So we leave. And, you know, we, we talk about it. We tell a couple people, like, yo, this, that's crazy. We should, you know what I mean? We, we didn't know what to do. So I think, like, the next week, me and Ryan went back there. And the flooding, it was not as bad. But the window was up on a different tree, like on its side, like someone put it up there. So we were kind of freaked out by that. And then being kids, we were, you know, we're, we were scared by that. We're like, man, what, what, what was back here? What was doing that? And uh, it was just, it was, it was scary. I'm telling you that it was, it was very scary because I, I don't like scary. I, I can't watch scary movies or anything. So that, that just kind of freaked me out a lot, but you know, we're walking, we're like, oh, that's, that's, that's really creepy. So we go to the, uh, the bed again, and then, like, stuff moved around. And then, I think, I forget who it was, but I think we lift up the bed, and there's, like, tons of bugs underneath, and we just kind of, like, I don't know, because bugs are just creepy. So we, like, ran, started to run away, like, we were jogging, and then me and him both heard, like, heavy breathing. And I don't know if it was just, it was probably just our imaginations, but we both heard heavy breathing, so we booked it out of there. Like, oh, we, I, I've never, I've never ran so fast in my life. It was, I was so scared. Um, yeah, and there's even, like, I forget, there's another time we were back there. It wasn't in the woods necessarily this time, it was more of the, uh, it was like before the woods, there's like a little field, and we were, we were running around, me, uh, Ryan, and, uh, my friend Nick and we were running around you know hanging out and then we saw there's like a big thing of mud and we had to get by it to go to where we were going like back to our houses and Ryan decides he's like you know I'm gonna go first I'll just go through it he jumps gets his foot in it his foot goes like two feet down like his whole leg is in it and he like pulls his leg out and his shoe and sock are just gone and he just runs away and d he like leaves the shoe and sock in the middle of this pit of mud and then we just go and then we have to give him socks and stuff but he he just left it and i forget how he explained it to his mother but it was it was, it was pretty funny that he just left his shoe right just running a thing of mud uh yeah so let's let's see what else we got let's see what else we got let's see i got to get my inner commentary man inside me got to bring it out um I, actually, I want to talk about the new chan like not new channel, but the future of our channel a bit. Um, we haven't been posting videos lately, but that will change as soon as summer comes around, just like another month and then summer. And I should be getting a job so I can get better editing equipment. By that I mean a better computer that doesn't lag up as much and stuff. And that should be good. And plus, I'll have more time to edit videos. And yeah. We are starting a new series. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to air the first episode within the next few days, I think, unless my schedule gets off again. 
maybe even the same day as this but it's gonna be a fear three series with me and my friend tate who makes music and you should check out his channel i might link it if i remember i probably won't but i might um but you want to we're gonna make that we're gonna go through co-oping the campaign which i know it's kind of a i don't like it's old but you know we both have it it's one of the only games that we can co-op that we both have um so doing that the first few episodes are a little boring because we filmed some episodes and uh they they didn't work because the mute background was too loud so we had like a bunch of things we talked about and like it was actually like i know i'm not trying to be like oh man yeah all the stuff i do is funny because i know most of it's like not very funny but i i'm pr a lot of the stuff we had like talked about we talked about a bunch of good like actual good topics and we actually said some funny stuff and then it didn't work out so we didn't have very much to talk about during this one but we should the next time we film um so the first i think six episodes are kind of boring but you should watch them you should watch them because they're not going to be terribly boring because we're playing a game and talking but uh yeah we i am i i think i said it in here but i applied for a for a job at the game step uh, i want to go to the game step and uh, play and uh, do the game stuff but yeah sorry um yeah i should be hopefully getting a job there even though I, I don't i don't know i like just sh doing all my shopping online now because it's just so much easier and you don't have to go anywhere but you know so if i'm getting paid for it i'm doing it because i need money oh okay here i get lost i get lost at this part and i was like yo right, wh where are we going where are we going and i don't know why i keep saying yo that's like how i used to say majig a lot now it's just me saying yo a lot i don't know i don't like it i don't like having something to s that i say a lot but what can you do? Next, uh, let's just uh, I just went on a field trip. It was one of the like it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't a very good field trip. You know, like normally, you go on a field trip, you're like, yeah, you're going to the zoo to have fun. No, this one we went to a dancing place, like a span. It was for Spanish class, so we went to a Spanish dancing place, and we did Spanish partner dancing. And then they were like, at the end, they're like, okay, we're going to do some hip hop or whatever dancing. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. I can, I can do some of that. I, I'm actually one of the better dancers in my class. So I, I, I could do this. I could do this. And then the guy has like a mini seizure on the floor and it doesn't even look good. He's just shaking all around. I'm like, I don't know what he's doing, crunking or something, but it didn't even look like, like I've seen crunking and it's, it's all right if someone's good at it, but this was not good like I don't know but everyone like gave him a round of applause and he's like okay that's all you guys gotta go and then we left and went to some Barcelona's tapas or something like that not very good it was a uh, the only good thing was churros oh churros so good strawberry churros that was delicious all right sorry gotta get back on topic but um yeah then we we're supposed to go to a place called orange leaf which I've never been and it's a um I had a frozen yogurt or something like that and we didn't get to go because the teacher doesn't know how to keep track of time and yeah so that's why th that's why I didn't like it because we didn't get to do anything that I really wanted to do uh yeah I have another story but it will take longer than I think the amount of you know what I'll say it. I'll, I'll say the next story I have because I I just thought of it and I didn't know how time well I was hanging out at one of my friends house uh we, i spent the night over at his house me and a uh, nick it was his, his name was devin it was me nick devin and dakota and you know we're hanging out and we're like hey it's three in the morning let's let's go for a walk i'm kind of bored in here so we go for a walk and we go to like there's a park in my like there's just like, a really small park like with like a swing and a slide at my whatever so we go there and we just like you know we're hanging out like we just swing we were in seventh and eighth grade and i don't know why we just we're just like you know what let's swing who cares let's swing um but we're walking back and i think like two of us look up and we're like what is that and then everyone's looking and it's like I i'm guessing it was a star but we were it was three in the morning and 
we were seventh, eighth grade, same as before, and you imagine things. So we like it looked like it was moving, and we thought it was like an alien or something, like a spaceship. And it, we were goodness gracious, but yep, thought it was a spaceship, and uh, we freaked out. We're like, okay, we we get back to the house, but like, like we looked at it for a good like two hours, like we. We're out there till like five, six in the morning, just looking, and then we go in. We're like, "Hey, we should we should do something in case when if we go to sleep, that they erase our memory." Like this was really our thought was that if we went to sleep, they would try to erase our memory. So we should we we wrote it down. Like we wrote it down on paper. We wrote it down in like every different thing, like iPods, phones, and pen and pencil, everything. Just like I I have. It was just our thinking was, "Hey, they're gonna try to." If it was an alien, which we really thought it was, because we were naive, I guess, or it could have been, but I don't know. I don't really know what to believe with that. I'm not gonna say anyone. I don't know. I don't really believe in it, but to each his own, I guess. If that makes any sense during that, it might not have made sense in that saying at all. But so we wrote it down and we go and we didn't go to sleep till like I didn't go to sleep till the next like day at nine at night, but and that nothing happened and I was just like eh it's over whoa 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 looks like we're done here looks like we are done here so since this froze at the end I will definitely uh do some more later on because uh this is fun I like telling stories and hopefully you guys enjoyed these stories and uh stuff about my life and whatnot. so I hope you guys have a great day and uh yeah that's what I'm talking about.